This is my Hot Talks 2024 interview with Patricia Fanquesa, the director and subject of my sextortion diary. Content warning. This interview includes discussion about blackmail over stolen personal photos. Listener discretion is advised. Hi Patricia. Unfortunately, this is not a spam email. Emergencias 112, ¿en qué puedo ayudarle? Hola, mira, eh, alguien que no conozco está mandando fotos mías desnudas a mis contactos. Me están, me están pidiendo dinero, me están haciendo chantaje. Tía, la verdad que no estoy vestido, estoy pasando hasta mal a mí, porque tía, no sé, o sea, vale que son fotos de alcohol y tú te coño, al tenca no pasa res, pero me sentí violada, ¿sabes qué diría? Me sentí, me sentí poco protegida, tía. Va a seguir pasando, va, va a seguir, va, va a seguir enviando emails, va, va a seguir esto, ¿eh? No. ¿Qué ves? Me graba toda la conversa, ¿eh, Pati? ¿Qué? Me graba todo. Oh, sí. ¿Qué dir, Mónica? Hello, Patricia. I have more than 300 emails ready to send. Please, don't make me do this. Let's negotiate. Okay, so, um, I guess we could start about a bit of the background between, like, the incident and you deciding to make a film about it. I decided to make a film, like, the day after that I understood that I was being blackmailed, <laughs> when I realized that my case was one case out of many cases and that it was happening all over the world. And I'm a documentary filmmaker, so I was I wanted more information. So I'm like, okay, this is a this is a documentary. So when you when when I realized it's something that it's a part of a wave, you know, mm -hmm. that it's not just about me. Mm -hmm. So like like um uh, when did you decide to like make the documentary like primarily based on your text messages and like mobile videos and such. The concept of, of the for, of the formal aspect of the film was very clear from the beginning and I wanted to use all the elements that the hacker could have been tracking, you ah. know? So I, I, I like this idea of the voyeur, like someone was like looking at me, like during the film is about how someone is becoming paranoid because someone is harming. Mm -hmm. So how the pain is making you be more paranoid so it's how uh, what the hacker could have access to so it was webcam also the phone then also the thanks to having whatsapp and every and all the text messages i had an excel with the sheets like every day of the of the event so i had like i did like a like family, like all my friends. So thanks to all the traces of the of the text messages, I could I could tell I could I could relieve the black men. So I wanted it to be all yeah like hackable elements. Yeah. So uh, when did you decide to make the hacker kind of like a character in the film with with like the robot voice and such? How he could not be a a, a character of the film? Like it's like the. Actually, it's the antagonist, but actually it's beautiful because he's the perfect one and I'm the imperfect one. Like yeah. how, how the internet is perfect and how the human is imperfect. Mm -hmm. And I wanted this, like, at the end, like the hacker is just a voice in my head because yeah. there was just emails. And I wanted it to be like, I, I didn't want him to be like a man, you mm -hmm. know? So I like this idea of having like an andro and androgeno element, no? Yeah. It's like the voice of the internet and the internet has no gender. I just like, kind of like very, like, like Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy that the hacker go, don't panic. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then um, I think uh, you actually look, look, looked up the self-help steps for victims of um, sex sexuality. And, and the first step was, don't, don't panic. panic, call the police. And then, and then um, I don't want to give too, uh, too much about the film, but like ultimately the police are not that helpful for you. They're, they're not. And Im imagine having someone wanting to harm you and wanting your money and realizing that the police, that it's usually the authority that needs to help you, is not helping. Like in the beginning, they, they made it, like they made me 
think that they care, but then I realized that they were not really like at some point, like you, like in the like they don't want and and also like they didn't want in my case. Like I guess in some point they wanted, but they were they were like this. They told me like there's nothing we can do, mm-hmm. you know, like just deal with your with it yourself. And then also they don't have the the means to help us because they are so slowly and usually like the department of of digital uh, digital police you know they are not so good because i guess like the good people of from computers they don't stay in the police because they don't get paid that much i guess one th- one thing that the i think the film illuminates is that this can happen to anyone yeah like like, like uh, usually when you hear like things like that it, it's a, you usually hear of this like happening to like celebrities or something but not like anyone <laughs> Yeah, like, like a lot, a lot of people is trying always to put the film on women's side. Like, oh, like people when I was pitching the film, when I was like developing, oh, poor women, this is just happening to you. And then like this film is about like this, like we are all users of, of the internet. We all have things to hide. We are all access, ac- accessible to be hacked. And also like for me, this film is important that like it's useful for young audiences because they are the more, more easy to manipulate mm-hmm. so it can happen to anyone like but the ta- the more the most target ones are the the young ones and also there is something called ransomware mm-hmm. that they are trying to hack companies so they get a lot of money but like small hackings it's for teens yeah. I'm, not- yeah, I'm aware of ransomware you click the wrong link and something installs in your computer <laughs> yeah Exactly. Like, well, it's like they they have like a ransom, like you need to pay us and then we give mm-hmm. you back the access to your data. <laughs> it is smart. No, I love mm-hmm. it. Like I would, I would like to be a hacker and be creative in this site. So the, the film like pretty much leaves the case unresolved. So was there any like developments that you finished the film? See, like at, at the end, like there is the, I don't know if you like read it, like actually we managed to make guilty, like the court said, like had a sentence, like, and it said, guilty to the guy who stole my computer they gave him eight months of trial but yeah. like he knows where the computer went but he's not saying it uh, so i'm really trying now and now that on january there was like the sentence like i'm pushing the catalan police to link the this this guy has the solution to this the, the police report number two the end of the film you actually look at the security footage to see very very clearly like the guy on the counter was in on it <laughs> right no of course uh but the, as you can see like the, the the end of the film is bittersweet because yeah. at the end like the bad guy is still uh hacking mm-hmm. but at the end like the happy ending is that i'm able to tell my story in the big scale like the in the climax you have a climax that I'm posting mm-hmm. but then making this film is like okay I'm it's not that I'm winning like we all win because like we know what this is what what is this and what we need to do so yeah I, I like I like uh, bittersweet endings like I, I like it that the bad guy is out because mm-hmm. I'm actually saying that it's hard to get these hackers this is a problem yeah and like um, you you did you, you did not let the bad guy win even though things get pretty dire exactly <laughs> and actually that is he winning even though I'm not paying yeah. I don't think he won but he's free yeah so yeah he got very persistent like actually like in in Austin when I went when we did the world premiere in South by Southwest someone from the public came and told me that it happened to him and they were calling him f- for more than like for many months because in the beginning he paid mm-hmm. and of course if you pay then oh, you yeah. you give them more fuel for for them to keep annoying you so mm-hmm. yeah they can they can well it's their job so imagine like you you wake up you take the coffee and like okay I'm, I'm going to start hacking so yeah okay so um are, are there any uh, distribution plans for this film yeah I, we got like a really good sales agent that is Taskovsky Films that I like is from Irina Taskovsky that I love her from the beginning she's like a really powerful and intense woman so it's the perfect woman to sell this this film so we have like the Spanish, the Spanish uh, window. Mm-hmm. We we got it sold because we have Movistar Plus that it's like the biggest VOD in Spain, and TV3 that is like the VOD in, in Catalonia in the, in my region. And now we are actually I'm here also to to move things to do like worldwide deals. Yeah. And people is asking me like where we can watch the film. So I'm we are this is like my job as a producer. So well, that, that's actually what kind of one thing I liked about the film is because so much of the film is like text messages and things on the computer and uh computerized hacker voices it's like did not have to worry too much about the subtitles like 
well, I, like, yeah. like actually, there was like there was many people during the process of the film that were like, oh, there's too much text. Like, what the fuck? If you go to see like a, a Syrian movie, you are reading all the time subtitles. So at least I'm making it beautiful for you to read. Like, clink, 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 clink. <laughs> at least I'm making it more entertaining than the subtitles. Like, yeah. audiences are used to 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 read, and actually, young people now, like, I'm I'm becoming addicted to TikTok because I want to yeah. understand how it works. It's all the time like you are reading, so your brain are listening. And reading at the same time, so you get more focus because there is two elements happening at the yeah, same time. Yeah, most TikTok videos are subtitled. <laughs> All, yeah, if not, if not, you feel unsupported. <laughs> so yeah, like of course we are like we have like the English version that I guess mm -hmm. is what you want the one you saw. Then we have the Spanish version, mm -hmm. also the Catalan version because the the Span the Catalan TV is asking us for the Catalan version, and we are doing a textless version. Yeah. So we like if we sell the film to Japan, mm -hmm. we they can put the Japanese text, you know, but oh, yeah. the hacker will still be in. In English, I like the hacker in English. Okay. So we are like we are like we're like the film itself is pretty pretty it's easy to be international. It's easy to localize. Exactly. Yeah. Well, this like this is how are we envisioning the film, yeah. like the post production. All right, that's it. Yeah, that was that was good. 